Good day, race fans. I'm commentator Sandy Pondwater, coming to you from Frederick, Maryland, where Cell Wars presents the R2 DF65 Championships. Here are the sellers competing for the title. Number 463, Albert Chatard. Number 630, Winston Crowley. Number 78, Alan Chrisinger. Number 965, Chris Carpenter. Number 65, Mike Campbell. Number 93, Kyle Russell. Number 46, Mari Spina. Number 777, Bart Selling Mahi. And number 353, Rob Dutton. The sellers have completed their skippers meeting, so let's go racing! So we're back at race number three. Let's take a look at our current standings in this championship series after two races. And currently our leader is Mike Campbell with only three points. Second place is Rob Dutton with five points. And Bart Selling Mahi comes in in third with eight points. And in fourth place, we have Chris Carpenter with nine points. Fifth place is Kyle Russell with 11 points. Sixth place is Albert Chatar with 12 points. And in seventh place is Alan Chris Singer with also with 12 points, but Albert holds the tiebreaker. Eighth place is Mari Spino with 13 points. And coming in in ninth place is Winston James Crowley with 16 points. Let's see how they do in race number three. But first, let's look at Vegas's odds live from Caesars Palace. We have the current odds. Mike is 2-1. to one. Rob is 3-1. to one. Bart is also three to one. Chris is four to one. Kyle is four to one. Alan comes in at five to one. Mari comes in at five to one after having mechanical problems in the last race. We're not even sure if she'll get into the water for race number three, but we will see. Albert comes in at six to one, and Winston comes in at eight to one which is the highest odds of winning. So we'll have to see what they do. Please don't really bet. This is all just for fun. Now we know the racers has been very competitive. Bart's got to be disappointed being in third place. He was the champion last year of these DF65s. And I know he's raring to do better, but sitting in third place, Mahi has got to make a comeback. So. Let's get ready for the start. Clear. And they have a great start. And Mike Campbell in number 65 is out in the lead, followed by Albert in 463 in that blue boat in second. And here comes Mahi. Number 777 is in third place. And Chris Carpenter in number 965. That pirate ship is in fourth place. There's number 78, Allen, as he is passed by Rob Dutton in number 53. Way outside, we had number 93, Kyle. And look at this. Chris is going to try to challenge for the lead as he tries to track down Mike Campbell that yellow boat gets some wind though and takes off as Albert follows him Chris is in third place what happened to Mahi this is a beautiful lake out here in Frederick Maryland home of the Northern Maryland Model Yacht Club a beautiful place to sell they sell usually the first Saturday of every month you can look them up on the internet at www.nmmyc.com. As we see, number 65, Mike Camel, making his way around that first mark. Now, the course today consists of one lap. 
they make their way down to number one mark where they're at right now and then they go across to number two mark and then they head downwind where there are two marks they they are a gate a gate is when you go down the middle and you pick which one you go inside and out around before heading back to the finish line and Mike Campbell has a great lead. He's got to have about a 16 boat lead right there in my estimation. We can see Mahi, number 777. He's got to be disappointed as he just picks up some wind, but I think he's set in about in sixth place right there. As Mike Campbell rounds number two mark well out in front of Albert, who's in second place in that blue boat as he heads to mark number two down by the fountain. Mike Campbell still powering down towards that gate down at the other end of the course our camera person today is Connie we thank all of our volunteers they don't get paid anything they just do this for the pure love of the sport and do us a favor like and share this video and of course subscribe because this is how we get the word out to people who don't sell on a regular basis we encourage everyone watching this video if you're interested in getting into RC selling look up your nearest club on the internet or the AMYA site and contact them and I'm sure somebody will put a boat controller in your hands and introduce you to the fine sport of RC sailing. And as we see the other boats come around down there, we can see Rob Dutton in that red boat. He's made his way around. We can see Bart's coming down wind right there, number 777. Albert's in the blue boat, that's right in the middle of the screen. And we can see number 630 closest to us, that's Winston. He's just making his way down the course, so he's having problems. And we catch up with our leader, there's Mike Campbell, that yellow boat. We can see quite a difference in the position of the boat as we can see Albert was kind of a little bit sideways there and he caught some wind where Mike Campbell was straight on going down course and he caught no wind. Albert's got some good power in his sails as he comes and he's catching up to Mike Campbell. Mike made a strategic error there having his boat in the wrong position and Albert capitalizes on it as Albert now goes into the lead and here comes Mahi in third place he was also on that correct tack right there and mike finally turns his boat sideways so he can get some wind in those sails but it may be too late as bart is catching up and has a little bit of speed on him and as we can see right there that black boat that is mari who had mechanical problems in the last race she's just now getting her boat into the water because remember even if you start a race it saves you a point so that's, I'm sure, what she's doing as she's going. But who knows? Maybe she can beat some boats because some of the boats were having problems. As we watch the leaders heading down to that gate, Albert's in first place. His little blue flag whirling in the wind as Mahi is powering down there. Number 777, last year's champion. He heads towards the gate trying to catch up to Albert, but Albert's got about a three boat length lead on him. As we see, Rob Dutton is in third place. As they head out, they the two lead boats, it looks like the third and fourth boat, they're going to take the inside mark at the gate. As they come, it's pretty close. Look at that. I think Mahi may be real close neck and neck with Albert. Albert's got a little bit of a lead. I think Mahi goes into the lead by about a half a boat length as they head towards the finish line. Albert goes on the port tack. Mahi stays on starboard tack. That was a smart move by Albert as he gets a lot of wind. As they are now head that wind, Albert, oh, they almost collide as you can see. They're both on starboard tack, opening up those sails, going downwind. They're going to the finish line. Can Mahi catch Albert? They're coming right to the line. It's very close. Photo finish in number 463. Albert wins in number 777. Bart takes second place, followed by number 353. Rob, who takes third place. What a close race for first that was. And coming across in fourth place is number 93, Kyle. 
And in fifth place, real close to him, was number 165, Mike, who takes fifth place. He's got to be disappointed at one time. He had about a 16-boat length lead and squandered it. And number 965, Chris, takes sixth place. And Chris was way up at the front on that first leg. And he fell back, so he can't be happy with that 6th place finish. And number 78, Allen takes 7th place. And here comes some of the slower boats. There comes Mari. Remember, she got her boat into the water really late. And here comes Winston, number 630. So they may be battling out at the beginning. Don't pay attention to number 65. That's Mike Campbell. He's just coming down to pull his boat. He's got to take a look at some of his tuning. He's not happy with how his boat finished that race. I'm sure he's happy how it started out. But really, Mike, all it came down to was your boat was facing straight ahead down the course in the Bart and Albert were kind of facing to the side and they got that light wind to get their boats moving and then it was all over after that. They powered their way right past you. As we see the boats battling for 8th and 9th coming down right there. That's between Mari and Winston. Mari goes around that inside mark as we see Winston trying. Got a great view of Winston's boat number 630 right there as he goes inside out around that closest mark but he better get some wind in those cells or else Murray's gonna come across that finish line first well actually in eighth place because remember these two boats are battling it out for eighth place but every point counts because remember in this the lower you finish the more points you get in its low point rules as they come down towards that finish line And we would like to thank Steve um, for coming out today and being the race director. He did it last year too. He does a great job out here. He's the all-inclusive uh, authority figure out here. He loves everyone and he'll make sure this race goes off without a hitch. He set a great course for today as these boats are loving it out here in the winds out here in Maryland. And here we come to the finish line. Here comes Mari. And number 46. It's good to see her back on the water. We would have hate to have seen her go out for mechanical issues. Number 46, Mari ends up taking eighth place. So now we're just waiting on Winston. He also goes by James, number 630, to come across. And I think we're just going to go ahead and mark him as finishing in ninth place so we would like to congratulate our top three in this race first place goes to 463 albert second place goes to bart number 777 and third place goes to rob now our current overall standings it goes to first place is mike with eight points second place is bart with 10 points Rob also has 10, but Bart holds the tiebreaker. Albert has 13 in fourth place. Chris has 15 points, holds the tiebreaker over Kyle, who sits in sixth place. Allen has 19 points in seventh place. Mari has 21 points. And Winston is coming up last. We all are volunteers, and the way you can thank us is by subscribing. And thank you very much for watching our videos, and especially when you like them. If you're a club webmaster, we beg you to put the Sail Wars homepage. You know, copy and paste the link, put it on your club's website, let your members know so they can become partners with us in our site of Sail Wars. When you get to our homepage, you'll see something that looks similar to this. It has all the playlists, all the videos, you can click on them. You can even subscribe here on the homepage. It's real easy, totally free. And of course, check out the best of Sail Wars. This is where we put our favorite videos. You can look up boats, different types of boats, different types of races, how-to videos, everything like that we have on the Sail Wars homepage. So make sure you check it out. 
and make sure you join a great club near you like the Northern Maryland Model Yacht Club. Look them up on the internet. And of course, we love the AMYA. So, this is Sandy Palmwater. I'm staying here at the races, so I'll see you at the next race. Thanks a lot for watching.